Hello guys, Manon from Geekception here and today I'm going to be doing the 5 day review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Let's begin. And welcome back guys. Now my 5 day review is of me using the phone every single day for 5 days and I shall be recording uh, myself at the end of each of those 5 days to tell you guys what I've observed. And the first thing I have to tell you guys is that this phone is really light but it's not light enough that it um, does not feel premium you know. It's light but at the same time it feels premium and unlike other 5.7 inches that devices phone I've used in the past like this uh, A8 and uh, Mi Note it actually feels very very small compared to the size and um, many people say um, the Quad HD display is overkill but I've been using it now for the past um, one day now and I can tell you that you can definitely see the difference between Quad HD and Full HD it's really really crisp and something actually I'm happy that Samsung um, does is they have this app called the Smart Switch app which um, I used on the A8 which I just finished reviewing a while back and um, you, it just basically just transferred everything from the Galaxy A8 to the Note 5 which means that I was pretty much set up in like 5 minutes which is pretty neat, I like it. But the only downside to the smart switch app from Samsung is the fact that it only supports Samsung devices which I really really hate as opposed to if it supported every Android phone but that's about it for smart switch. Something I don't like in the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 I have uh, in the software interface touchways is those rounded icons or those icons that are a little bit more rounded. I don't know, there's just something about it that you know I just dislike. And at 7.20 p.m. today, I had to charge the Note 5 because the battery was already dangerously low. And at that time, I'd already gotten about three hours of screen on time, which is pretty meh compared to other phones. And um, for people who usually ask me about uh, the brightness level, I left it at auto brightness. So that is basically um, the battery life for today, three hours screen on time. And that has been it for the first day of using the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And today is the second day that I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Note. And something I've noticed while I'm listening to audio, and I've been listening to a lot of audio, believe me, is the fact that, you know, Android usually warns you when you're um, at a dangerous hearing level. Something I like on the Samsung Galaxy Note is the fact that it actually has orange bars to denote which level is high and dangerous and which level is not, which I think is pretty cool. And still talking about audio, there's an option called UHQ Upscaler in the settings which you can enable to uh, have I think a little bit more high fidelity audio I tried it and it was not a gimmick and I've left it on ever since it actually improves the audio quality and moving on to the fingerprint scanner I've tried it in so many angles and in every angle I've tried it there's a 99% chance it's going to work yes it's that accurate 99% I really love the fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy Note 5 but something I'm starting to notice is the fact that uh, memory management on the Note 5 is really aggressive which means that even with 4 gigabytes of RAM if I go back to apps I've just opened like maybe 3 apps ago or 4 apps ago I find out that it actually reloads the entire app which I don't really like you know Samsung please optimize touchways and going back to audio um, I like the position of the audio jack 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the bottom of the device it makes it easier for me to move out of my pocket and it makes it easier for me to just you know use the phone generally why do don't all manufacturers put the headphone jack on the bottom I don't know and at the end of the day I was only able to get about two hours uh, 50 minutes screen on time which I think is pretty bad and um, I did all the things I normally do uh, take pictures videos and um, I think it's really bad for the note 5 and um, for brightness levels I use auto brightness and that's about it for battery levels for today and that has been it for the second day of using the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And today is the third day that I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And something I have to tell you guys is the fact that I love S Finder. Uh, if you want to search, there's system-wide search, which means it searches the entire phone. And in the case that you cannot find something you're looking for, you actually have the option of searching through Google, which I think is pretty good. Something which I wish was included on the Note 5, however, is the uh, drag down for notification, like on the Xiaomi Mi Note and on other Chinese phones like the Oppo R5. On um, the Note 5 is absent here, so with the 5.7 inch display, sometimes it's kind of difficult to get to the notification bar if you're holding the phone down. And the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 has uh, bottom firing speakers, which actually sound pretty good, surprisingly. It's got very good bass, but something um, I must have to tell you guys is the fact that depending on how you hold the phone, you would obstruct the um, volume of the speakers like 80% of the time. So I don't know, is it worth it on the bottom? I don't know, you decide. And I've been using the S Pen from the first 
purpose of this uh, review primarily to take notes in class but um, before I go to my full S Pen review I actually like the clicky um, S Pen you know it's a huge time waster like you know most times when I'm like maybe biting my fingernails or tapping the table I just take the S Pen and I click 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 and I've been consuming a lot of media on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and it looks amazing of course it does because of that quad HD display uh, very crisp very saturated I actually tried uh, with the iFlix app that came on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and when it comes to media consumption mm, top marks and at 11.30 today I was only able to get about 2 hours 30 minutes of screen on time which is bad when it comes to the battery life on the Note 5 like I've been saying for the past two days so I'm not really impressed with battery life on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and that has been it for day three of using the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and today's the fourth day that I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and I've been using the S Pen quite a lot mostly for school and the killer feature of the S Pen I think is the ability to write while the screen is off you know you just pull out the pen and you just start writing immediately and the moment you put that back the pen inside or you click save it automatically saves it and removing the s pen from the galaxy note 5 um, air command automatically expands and um, i did not use most of the things that um, are there such as smart write and screen select i really didn't use it at all i mean i only use it like once or twice the what i ended up using the most was adding additional shortcut keys um to the s note there which i think is pretty cool apart from that i really didn't use air command and if Ryan actually noticed, well, not me, uh, my friend who has slippery fingers of the S Pen is the fact that if you have slippery fingers, then it's kind of very, very tricky for you to pop out the S Pen from its enclosure. But it's just something I have to tell you guys. And when it comes to performance, the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is actually really, really fast. It's one of the fastest phones I've ever used. Uh, when it comes to switching between apps, you know, uh, going through your home screen, there are no lags whatsoever. Of course, I already mentioned the problem with the aggressive RAM management, but apart from that, it's pretty good. And I don't believe in benchmarks, but just for the sake of people who would actually want it, I ran the Antutu benchmark, and at the end of the benchmark, I got a score of 66,500, which is pretty good. It's actually top of the line. And rounding up um, day four of using the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, I must have to tell you guys about the battery life. And I was actually surprised today. It got about four hours of screen on time, which is surprising because from the first day of this review, I've not gotten more than three hours, so that's just something I definitely had to tell you guys. And that has been it for day four of using the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And today's the fifth day that I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, and I've been taking a lot of photos and video with the camera on the Note 5. I'm gonna, I must tell you guys, it is absolutely amazing. The first off, I love the camera interface. It's very simple, very minimalistic. And if you click on the uh, mode uh, button there, you can actually see more modes. And I did try the pro mode, and I can tell you guys, I'll be playing the pictures I took right about now, just about three photos I took. It was absolutely amazing. In low light, around like 2 a.m. in the morning, and I got amazing photos. Moving on to other pictures I took with the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 5. As you can see, it's very, very sharp, very saturated. I, like I always say, Samsung usually actually over sharpens their image a little bit but apart from that it's been one of the best camera phones i've ever used okay so three two one everybody says yeah okay, okay. okay. so three two one yeah! <laughs> And in some of my reviews, I sometimes forget that I'm reviewing a phone. I've actually used the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 as my phone for the past one week now. And I can tell you that the core quality is absolutely amazing. I've had no problems uh, hearing other parties and other parties have had no problems hearing me. When it comes to core quality, the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is good. And I've been playing quite a few games with the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and it's been absolutely amazing. You know, no stutters, no drop frames, nothing. When it comes to... You know, playing games with the Note 5, it's absolutely nice. And rounding up today is battery life. Now, I've been, it's been really inconsistent. Today, I also got four hours of screen on time, which does not, um, you know, correlate with the first two days of this review. So, I think battery life has actually improved, but I don't know, four hours for a tablet still looks very small, but at least it's not two hours plus anymore. So, when it comes to battery life, hey, I'm actually starting to get impressed now. And uh, for my final thoughts on, about using the phone for the past one week, I would say I love the curve at the back. It makes it very, very easy for you to hold. I'll say uh, the weight is actually pretty good. You know, it feels really nice in the hand. Uh, the camera has been amazing, guys. No, like seriously, this is like one of the best camera phones I've ever used. You know, when it comes to battery life, I'll say it's 50-50. It, I expected it to be better, 
but in the past two three days it's actually actually been okay using the s pen reminded me of you know the original galaxy note which i actually did buy with my own money like three four years ago the s pen was really really nice to use especially with that you know pulling out the pen and writing while the screen is even locked which is amazing and something that surprised me was the speakers actually i never thought they would actually be that good you know it's even bottom firing speakers i never thought they would have you know the bass bass that they have but they're actually pretty good not bad but some things i don't like which is the number one thing which i've been telling you guys since the first day of this review is battery life battery life i think has been inconsistent and does not live up to the you know galaxy note series and another thing is price you know it's very very pricey to buy the samsung galaxy note 5 you know with that money you can actually buy two one plus twos or three asus zenfone twos you know it's crazy so I mean, it's really something of personal preference. Do you really, really want to spend that much? And when it comes to the S Pen, it can be very tricky to uh, remove it from the port if you have sweaty hands. So that's something you guys should definitely, definitely try out before you buy it. And those are the very, very few things I don't actually like about the Note 5. As you guys can tell by now, I actually love this phone and, you know, it's really, really sad that I have to return it back. But hey, that has been it for this review. I hope you guys liked it. It's not been easy shooting this every single day for five days. So make sure I give that big thumbs up button. Uh, thumbs down if for some reason you don't like this video. And leave comments below if you think I left anything out and I should improve in my next video. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. I shall catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.